Hello guys, welcome back to with Trevor Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Cities Skyline 2 is having crashing issue, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even uh, much more issues such as you know black screen etc and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, do a simple restart on your system and that is what we have to do. So just go over here in the start icon, click on this one, go over here in the power icon and go for restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launching the game. So sometimes, you know, a simple restart can fix a lot of issues. So we need to try with a simple restart and that is what we have to do. Once afterwards, if the issue is still there, if it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So most of us launch the game from Steam. That is why we are having the issue. So we need to launch the game from the uh, installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties. Go to the install it file and we just need to click on the browse. So we just need to go back over here and as you can see, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam Amps, Common, Cities, Skyline 2. So just launch the game from here and this is what we have to do. So launching the game from here might be working because in my knowledge for many other games this did work it so you can try this over as well. Once after done with this, if the issue is still there, you can try two more steps from here in the same location that we need to run the game as an administrator. And what we need to do is we just need to launch the game or we have to run the game in the Windows compatibility mode. So running the game as an administrator is quite simple. So just right click over here and go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties. Go to compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK. After trying with this, you have to see whether the issue is solved because most probably when you do this up, the issue has to be fixed. And even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next one. That is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So we just need to go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to show more options. We have to go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode and we have to set this to Windows 7 as the first one. Go for apply and go for OK or you can set this to Windows 8. We can go for apply and go for OK as well. Afterwards, if you're still having the issue, uh, what we need to do is we just need to try with the next one. After running the game in the competitive mode, in my knowledge, when you try to run the game in the 7, it will be working for Windows 7 will be working. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So this even did work it for many users. So just launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. I don't know how this is related, but even for many users, this did work it. So we can try this one as well. Next one, we need to make sure the date, time and region is correct. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the settings. Now from here, go to the time and language. Go for date and time. Now from here, we have to make sure the time and time zone should be automatically correct. So this has to be turned on and this has to be turned on as well. You have to go back, make sure the language and region. Now from here, we have to click on this one and make sure the country is correct. For example, if you select United States, we have to set this up. And if you're in United Kingdom, you have to set this up as well. You have to do it accordingly. And once after done with this one, we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer, go to this PC and from here we have to navigate to the documents and over here if you find the folder, you have to keep in mind when you find the folder, we have to delete it. So if the game is not here, we have to navigate to the games. Now from here we'll be able to find the folder here. So just select the folder and we have to delete the folder and keep in mind when you delete it. That is what it is going to do. You'll be losing all the progressions of the game if you started saving the game. But even though it is fine, we have to delete it because it did work it for many users for many games. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one. That is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security, which is a very important step. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the control panel. Go for system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow and Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Cities Skyline 2. So just go over here. 
and make sure the private and public has to be selected so this has to be selected and this has to be selected which is very important so imagine the game is not here and what we need to do in some cases this situation even pops up in between so just click on the change setting go for allow another app navigate to the browse navigate to the installation folder that is the oculus c program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam now go to steam amps now go to common now from here we have to navigate to cities skyline 2 select this one and go for open and we have to add it so i'm getting the error because the game is already added so we need to add the game once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about what now what what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of devices for example you know multiple uh, controllers multiple uh, monitors might be connected and these are sometimes even cause the issue up so just remove the unwanted unplug or remove the secondary or unwanted multiple connected uh, controllers uh, you know uh, you know what you have to say uh, you have to remove the monitors and all those things which is already connected and once or afterwards we just need to try and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the system configuration now from here navigate to the services go for disable all and go for hide all microsoft services and go for apply and go for okay they're going to ask you for restart so we have to go for restart and also keep in mind the users who are watching this you have to go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart because we very re we are in the middle of shooting so i'm going to go for exit without restart and afterwards try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go to the installed file and over here as you can see not there installed file go to the general make sure if this is turned on we have to turn this off once you turn this off try launch the game next one is all about we have to try with the launch option that we have to give the command dx11 so you can try with the dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game as well so either the dx11 will be working or the dx12 will be working and this is what we have to do in most cases this will be working so you can try this out even after trying with this if the issue is still there you can try with the next one that is all about we have to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the search we have to go over here in the start right click and we have to go to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so all these things are one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things for example discord riva tuner msi afterburner all these are one of the main reason so just remove everything from here and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the graphics settings now from here we just need to add the game so just click on the browse now go to this pc navigate to local disk c program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam and we have to navigate to steam amps once again go to the common now from here we have to navigate to cities skyline 2 and we have to select this and go for add so the game is added just click on the option and as you can see this is why let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save once you save this to high performance close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory which is a very important step so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go to settings once again advanced once again go for change over here and make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed go for the custom size and set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here and we need a calculator so just type your ram 32 gb is what we need to type and we have to multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 49152 and we have to paste it next one that is maximum size is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 sorry 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well so just go for ok and everything should be set and once afterwards do a restart and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card so just go over here so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd 
the NVIDIA users has to go over here and select everything like your product type, product series, product, operating system, language, etc. Set this to Windows 11 and we have to go over here in the GeoForce RTX and we have to go to everything and go for start search. Now from here as you can see, that is we have to go over here and we just need to keep scrolling down because uh, you will be getting the latest outdated versions over here. And once you find the latest outdated version, we have to download it and we have to install it. And keep in mind the restart is a mandatory and that is a very important one. And once afterwards, you can also try moving to the AMD if the system is AMD. You have to update the AMD and select every details and go for start search. And we'll be getting these two options. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you can try downloading this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the Microsoft, you should see plus plus just go over here. Now from here, if the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the settings. Now from here, go to the windows update. So just update the windows and make sure the windows is up to date, which is a very important one. And once afterwards, we just need to try and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here, right click. We have to go to the manage and uninstall the game. You have to keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back, it should not be installing it back on the same local disk. You have to move to any other local disk and that is how it works. The last and the last one is all about we can try verify integrity of game file. So just go over here, go to the man, uh, properties. We have to click on the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So the game is around 16 GB. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. And these are the possible workarounds which can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye